Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff, another Just Fun tour. And as always, we know I'm excited, but I'm especially excited today because we are visiting the island of Flutter. And I feel like I need this type of island in my life. We're talking old style country cottages, a trip to the English countryside, gorgeous landscapes. I mean... Who doesn't want that with summer coming up? Just a little vacation time, just a little step back into the relaxing. So I can't wait. Let's not. Let's take a look at this map. There are quite a few little waterways surrounding the main house in the front. And I'm seeing rows of villager houses in the back. So I don't know how that's set up. Obviously this is not a city style island. So I'm excited to see how those are built in. Uh, let's take a look at our villagers. We have Tangy, there's Joey, Henry, Sasha, Drake, Lily, Bo, Molly, Pom Pom, and Marty and the dream address is at the bottom. So if you want to come along with me, have this relaxing stroll in the countryside, please do so. Type it in. Save it for another time. It'll also be in the description with all the creators information so that you can check them out. It is Storybook, AC and H, and we all know how talented they are. So I'm excited. Let's get into Flutter. You come out of the airport, and already you can see Joey. You can see the custom designs and these cottages that are all throughout this island, and I'm so excited to see it. There's also a few little gifts left, so I think we should grab those. Oh, we got a little umbrella, a watering can. And some cotton candy. So let's put these things to use. Let's put on the rain boots because, oh, it's too cute. And hold the little fly. Oh, now we match now. I was going to say the island owner matches. And we will start just by going over the bridge where Joey's going to say hello. And looking at the main house, which is, again... An indicator of everything that is coming. Look at the ground. Look at the flowers. Look at the layering. Look at the trees. I mean, I'm so excited. But we are not meant to get into this main house. I noticed on my way to the airport, it's very much so blocked in. So we can't get in, but we can appreciate. But with that, let's continue. Hi, Joey. Going to the left, because I saw... Some beautiful builds over here, and I want to check them out. Look at this. Can I get over here? Look at just how beautiful these customs are, and the builds. The little houses and cottages all through this island. Like, I am so excited to keep going. This is so pretty. And exactly what I need. Oh. Look at them. Just little builds all over the place. And they're so pretty. I feel like you've walked into like a little storybook. Look at the little bees. The customs everywhere. Do not disappoint. That is 100% sure. Look at the bench. Just the bench on the ground is pretty. And then with the matching over here with the towel. Look at the mouse. The boots in the book, I can't with just literally, is that, is that a little swimsuit bottom? That is too cute. I can't. We've barely started and this is so, so pretty. We're going over the bridge and to another, can I get in front of here? I can. Another, just these little quaint country cottages that are all throughout this island it's so pretty i love the weeds i love 
the customs. I love the flowers. The entire thing is just beautiful. Look at the little tree stump. The customs on these islands never disappoint. Like, this is so pretty. We were already over here, but I just thought I'd take the path over and appreciate. Again, just the work that goes into, like, even the little bridge custom. Oh, it's so pretty. And then you just walk across and take the little path up the walkway to what is this even oh my gosh i feel like i need to get out of the way so that you can appreciate it i feel like i need to put away my my flower umbrella for a moment there we go just so we can appreciate the builds because i feel like it's kind of taking up space but look at how pretty that is oh i am just taken back with how gorgeous this is I feel like I'm in some sort of storybook. Like these cottages feel like something out of a nursery rhyme. Like it's so pretty. And then the customs everywhere. Look at the little doormat with the little bee on it. <gasps> then you've got toy cars and little stuffed animals on the ground. The customs are immaculate. Like it is just so perfect. The little squirrel holding the leaf. What? Oh, I can't with just how perfect this is. Right down to the little w covered wagon beside the big cottage. Literally, it's like a step back in time. Do you not feel like... Has anybody seen, like, Anne of Green Gables or Red Anne of Green Gables? Because this is everything. <laughs> It's so good. Walking across again. Just all of the little old builds. And look at like the, the flowers and the vines on the customs growing up the houses. And then the fields in between, like in behind. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. The layering with the trees. It's so pretty. I can't. I like literally cannot contain myself with how pretty this is. Just stunning. And look at all the different pathways you can take that take you to all the different houses. We have a villager house, which again has been made to look like Tudor style and it's so pretty. And they are home, so I'm excited. Let's go inside and check it out. It's Bo's house, and it's Bo's house. <laughs> Literally, it is left the way that he wanted it. And again, I'm never upset when I see that. It's their stuff in their houses. And literally, the amount of work that's poured into the outside of this island, I feel like the villagers should just keep their things. This is so beautiful. I love it. back outside again the customs are everything every time i turn around and i look a little closer there's some other little detail like look at the rabbit popping up out of the ground or the little mouse popping up it's so perfect there's marty in marty's yard and look at how even the yards are adorable i feel like this is a yard for marty it's got like little it's got the little toys and the little slide. Is that a puzzle? And a puzzle. Books on the ground. It just, it suits Marty. I don't even know if that's Marty's house, but I feel like it should be. I like following the little dirt path everywhere. Like, it's so easy to navigate this beautiful island. Oh my gosh. Look at the view of the cottages in behind. Like, I know I'm a little enthusiastic right now, but this is so pretty.
down on the ground. You've got the little ducky with the ducky babies in the little ponds everywhere. This is so pretty. Is this, we were here, right? Yes, this is that beautiful cottage. Like, I like how everything just kind of circles back to everything. And we have more villager houses. You could take the little log across to go see. And again, the way they're all done in that Tudor style is so pretty and so fitting. And this villager's home, and well, I'm going to assume that it is their home. I feel like their home we need to visit. It is, but it's so pretty. It is, right? I don't know if I've ever just been into her house by itself with the little simple panel separation thing. I don't... Could be. I think it is. I'm gonna say yes. It's beautiful. And I don't know, the whole... The whole theme in here kind of fits the island and it's kind of dreamy. I like it. Back outside, back on the path, and there's Joey. Joey's like that one villager. There's always that one villager you see when you're on an island that just shows up everywhere you are, and today it's Joey, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Again, loving the houses. I love the way they've changed them to cover up the curtains to make it all Tudor style. Oh, there's Henry, and Henry's also just, like, the cutest. And this, oh, this is that one I saw from that viewpoint. And it's the big custom cottages that they built all over this island are just stunning. Like, this is gorgeous. I would love to stumble upon this cottage. Does it kind of give, like... I don't know if it's the Tudor style builds or like the customs, but it's giving like old European, like really old, like 1800s European. And it's so pretty. Oh, I can't with how pretty it is. Oh, I'm sorry, Joey. <laughs> Joey, our little mascot, I didn't mean to push him around. More of the villager houses in the yards, but just appreciate the detail in the landscaping, aside from just the insane amount of gorgeous customs being used, the landscaping and the terraforming, so pretty. Oh, I'm pushing you again, Joey, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, back past this. Can we just appreciate for one more second? Oh, so pretty. Then continue on across the bridge oh look at the little oars pulling the covered wagon this has to be some sort of it ha i feel like i'm in a book like the most magical little fairy tale we've already seen these yards just want to make sure i don't miss anything because it's literally so pretty here we have another villager home. We all know it's going to be their house. But we are dedicated to this and we are going to go say hello. It's Molly's. And Molly, it, this is very fitting too. I don't know, just the, the lattice work on the walls, the simple wood furniture. There's not much going on in here. Playing a little music, got a little bookshelf. It feels like it fits the time for this island. And it's cute. It was Molly. Back outside. And again, just look at this yard. The little stepping stones up to the house. The horses 
just walking around in your front yard, the layering of the trees and the builds in behind. It's like the most magical garden I've ever visited. Got a ladder over here. A ladder I can't get to, but look at how pretty. More of the villager housing. Look at this little garden out in front. It's so pretty. We've got baskets upon baskets of flowers. I feel like... I feel like we should be... There we go. Carrying the water can because there's just so much going on around here with the gardens. And the flowers. Oh, the houses. I can see them in behind it. I'm so excited. We have another villager home. It's going to be their home. But again, we're dedicated. And I like saying hello and seeing the villagers. It's so... I, I haven't been into every villager's original home so for me this is kind of interesting because some of them make sense and some of them you look at it and it does not like in no way does this make sense to me am i mad at it no do i understand the eccentricities is that the word i'm looking for yes i do i like it i like unique style and this is Exactly that. Back again out in this lovely countryside that I cannot get enough of. Literally so pretty. Look at the little path leading up to the shed in behind the house. Like, no detail spared on this island. So, so pretty. Okay. This villager with the, the painting, doing the, the painting outside of your house. Could you imagine living here? Oh, what are you doing this afternoon? I'm just going to go paint in this gorgeous European countryside. This little step back in time. Like, what? It's so, it's... Normally, I'm, I'm like on a cute kick. This is so cute. This is stunning. <laughs> so beautiful. And then every time you go up this up the roads, up the little I can't even call them roads, up the paths, up the dirt roads, I guess, that are everywhere, that are beautiful, you come to these custom cottages and it just it takes my breath away. Look at the there's little cedar trees even in behind the I think they're pergolias. I can't remember what they're called. I just call them, you know. Little, little shady things, but I think it's the pergolias, but look at the layering on this, the builds, they're gorgeous, the customs, the little horses pulling the covered wagons everywhere, so good, the little paths following the houses, oh, there's more paths, you can keep going, the signs, oh, it takes you to... Oh, there's like, you're going into the, the rock cliff. What the, what's the tunnel? That's the word that was eluding me. Going into a little dark tunnel, taking you in behind the cottages. This is so good. And look at this garden. I love the mushroom items. Again, forgotten items that we've had forever that I love when they first came out. I, I like lost my mind with mushroom items, but this it's so fitting and it lends to that almost fairy tale feel that I have while being here because that's exactly what I feel like I'm in. Just walking around on this island. Look at how pretty. Okay, and then the tunnel comes out back here and you've got these horses and buggies crossing paths on the little dirt road. It's too good. Literally too good. And then again, the cottages. 
that you see everywhere. The yards leading into it. Look at the little picnic area. Little dogs everywhere. Again, yeah, we were at this villager house. That's the one where they're painting. So I'm going to go down past the covered wagons. Past Joey. <laughs> and again, the little country cottages. Look at there. Even on top of the cliffs. Like, this is so good. It's so pretty. I do love the ease of getting around as well. You just have to stay on the path. Stay on the path and it will take you everywhere you need to go. Look at these yards. And the cottages. The amount of simple panels I've seen on this and being a simple panel fanatic. I love this. <laughs> they hold the best customs. Other than the ground, the groundwork on this island is mind-blowing. Look at the little tractor working on this flower farm. And then you've got the stand where you can come and buy all these fresh cut flowers. Even the stand is beautiful. Look at the bees in the garden. Just the appreciation I have not only for the brilliant idea, stunning customs, just mapping this out, just doing the basic groundwork, just that dirt path on the ground, and then seeing this come to life. I'm just in awe and truly, truly appreciative of the amount of work that goes into this. It's so beautiful. Look at these cottages. It's my literally mind-blowing. I feel like I skipped a spot and ran over here, but I saw more of the simple panels in the design and I got really excited. <laughs> Just want to make sure I don't miss a single C. I would have missed this. I love the, the little cottages bring me joy, but the big huge builds that we saw there was one that was like the the old country mansion and then you had like the tudor style those mind-blowing literally mind-blowing tall island is i could walk around forever i could literally get lost on this island it's so pretty all the little waterways here all the little paths I love this little walkway going up the natural steps. And this is where resident services is. So this is where you come in for your dream. And just coming in for your dream is magical. Like you get out of that bed and you step onto this ground. Life changing. And then you see... All these beautiful cottages. Oh, I love it. Then we're back to pretty much where we started here on Flutter. And I'm just in awe at how absolutely stunningly beautiful, literally magical feeling walking around this island. I 1,000% recommend that you come and check out this island because it's just, it's insanely beautiful. The amount of detail is mind-blowing. The terraforming and just the landscaping is everything. It's perfect. It is literally the perfect island. Come spend some time on Flutter. I'm going to end my tour here, though. I want to thank you guys, though, so much for coming along with me, for listening to me just gush about how beautiful this island is. If you feel the same way, though, leave that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And you guys know that those little details, it means everything to me. Just like watching, coming along with me, commenting. I just love the interactions. I love sharing with you guys. It's so much fun. Thank you again for coming along with me. And as always, you know, I'm going to be back with more Animal Crossing videos.